Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial and we're going to be learning how to make banners and ribbons. Okay, so what we're going to be making today is something like this, which was in the thumbnail of this video. So to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new file here. So just to start off, what I usually do first, there's a few ways to do this, but um, this is what I find is the easiest way. So what I'll do is just go ahead and grab uh, the rectangle tool, which is over here, and I'll just pick the color that I'd like the ribbon to be. So for this one, I could do red, for example. Then I'll just go ahead and draw a rectangle. That's good. Yeah, so the next step is to go ahead and draw another rectangle. And it should be smaller than the last one. So just like that would be good. And you want to just line it up so it's around the center, um, middle, uh, horizontally of the other rectangle. So after you've done that, what you want to go ahead and do is select that rectangle again and just change the fill. So you want to pick a color that's a little bit darker than the color of the big rectangle. So I'll just pick a bit closer to black. Good. Yeah, so since the layer is not directly editable yet, what you want to do is go ahead and right click the second rectangle, which is this one, and go to rasterize layer. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your polygon lasso tool. That is in the toolbar along with the lasso tool. Um, and now you want to go to the top left corner of your image and go a bit, a bit past it, like that. And then you want to select around the center of the rectangle. Not like the middle, just the center vertically. So maybe around here. It doesn't have to be exact, obviously, but it would just be nice. So just like that. And then you want to go down to the bottom and go a bit past it. Like that, that's good. And then you just want to go ahead and connect your lines to make that triangle. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just hit delete on my keyboard. And that will just delete that set of pixels. Now the next step is to duplicate this layer. To do that, you can go ahead and right click and go duplicate layer. Or you can just press control J. I'm just going to go duplicate layer. Make sure it's in this document. Hit OK. And then, since now there's a duplicate here. You want to go ahead and press Control T to transform it. You want to right click it while it's in the transform menu and go to flip horizontal. So that just gives it a 180 degrees flip and then just move it to the other side and line it up again. Just like that. That's awesome. Okay. So now you want to make sure that your top rectangle, the bigger one and the lighter one is on top of the other two layers. Just like that. So now you can see how it's coming along. So the next and last important step is to go ahead and make a new layer. Use the same polygon lasso tool as before and just go ahead and select this triangle here. So go from this corner to the bottom back up and uh, if you guys don't know if you hold down shift while you're doing this it'll make the line straight so that'll be nicer if you're going along this edge. Then click there cross and click there. Then you want to go to your paint bucket tool, which is G as a shortcut. And you want to make sure you want to make the color black and you want to just fill that in. Just like that. Um, when the pixels are selected to unselect the pixels, just how they're selected like this, you just hit control D. Now the next step is to go ahead and um, duplicate this black here. So again, either right click and duplicate or go control J. Now there's two of those layers. Then the same thing again, control T for transform and flip horizontal. And then just drag it across to the other side like that. And now you can see how it's coming along. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and merge those layers. Just do that by right clicking these two black uh, triangles and just go merge layers right here. So that'll just make it into one layer and then you could lower the opacity. So that makes the colors more similar, just like that. So it's coming along really nicely. Um, at this point, what you can do is um, you can go ahead and merge all the layers. So yeah, it just turns out like that. So it looks pretty nice. So after that, you could just go ahead and put in some text. Uh, example whatever you'd like to do, 
go ahead. Put in some text or anything. It's multi-purpose. Usually people open text though. Um, another thing that you guys could do after that is go ahead and click Control T after the layers are merged, and then you could just go to warp. So what you can do from this is basically make it so that the ribbon is um, warped upwards or downwards, and that just changes the way that it looks. So just like that, for example, you could go ahead and move all the points up so it has an upward arc, sort of. Just like that. So that looks really nice. Then you can go ahead and put in some text here. Uh, again, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm just putting an example right in Photoshop. And then you could go to the text effects and, uh, I'm just giving you guys an example here. Uh, lower like that. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and learned something new. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked it and shared it. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe since I'll be posting new videos every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.